Hello explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are introducing the beautiful city of Accra in Ghana. By the end of this episode, we shall explain with you the reason why this amazing African city has attracted lots of businesses from all over the world and why tourists continue to flock into this amazing city and also why the next time you plan visiting Ghana, you should have more information with regards to Accra. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. Looking at Accra, for those of you who don't know, Accra is Ghana's capital and the most populous city with an estimated population of just over 2.5 million people. Some will put that number a little bit higher. It is the country's main commercial, manufacturing, technology, and also transportation plus innovation and also communication hub. Across formal and informal economies contribute about over 3 billion US dollars to the Ghanaian's economy, which is equivalent to just over 10% of Ghana's gross domestic product. The hardworking and also busy population have enabled the city to rise through the ranks and also considers one of Africa's top sport for businesses today. Ghana has been taunted as one of the more mature democracies in the African continent and Accra has benefited by receiving huge uh, foreign investments. The most notable, uh, the most recent to so the point out has been that the social media company called Twitter has selected Accra to be its headquarter in the African continent. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Looking at Accra, Accra by 2021 population is now estimated to be 2.5 million people. Looking at that, by 1950, the population of Accra was 1,777,000 people. Accra has grown by 42,000 since 2015, so to look into that, which represents about 1.7% annual change. Those population estimates and projections come from the latest version of what the United Nations uh, Project and World Urbanization Prospect looking into that, those development cities, especially those mega cities in Africa. This estimate represents the urban agglomeration of Accra, which typically includes Accra's population in addition to adjacent suburban, suburban areas within its the country. Accra is the capital of the Republic of Ghana. It is also the most populous city in the country. The city is one of the most urban in the country and is developed significant, significantly since the 1990s with the addition of nightclubs, hotels, restaurants and also other buildings. The most recent estimate shows that the population of urbanized Accra it starts at that same amount of 2.7 uh, we just pointed out there the number looking at the difference the size of Accra Accra's urban area covers just over 225,000 square kilometers of land while the entire metropolis has grown to nearly 900 uh, square kilometers the metro area the population density is approximately 1,300 people per square kilometers Looking at demographics in Accra, one of the most interesting things to note that about the demographics of Accra is that the high population of strong residents, approximately 56% of the population are under the age of 24. The trend is not expected to change in the coming years. There is a slightly higher population of males than females in the city, which is the par of the number recorded across the different parts of the country. When you understand those particular data, you will show that 45% of Accra's residents are immigrants that initially lived in other African countries. However, migration rates are expected to decrease in the future. There are multiple low-income housing areas located in Accra with about 58% of the total population living in one of those particular areas. Major ethnic groups of Accra include the Akan, the Ga, you have the Dangme, you also have the Iwe. The largest religious groups and Christians, which are over 83% of the population, you do have Muslims that makes 10.2% to the point out and also the population and other uh, clans will be uh, claiming to be 4 point something percent of the religion. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. 
in understanding the history of this amazing African city, during the late 1800s, the city was captured by the British. It was in 1877 that the city was designated as the capital of the Gold Coast. It was during this time that the city began to expand and also its population grew boundaries also in different areas and continues to expand to the 1900s. A turning point for the city occurred in 1908 when the construction of the Accra Kumasi Railway which connected Accra to other regions in Ghana. After the World War II, the city of Accra central business district was developed. Rural migrants also settled in surrounding neighborhoods resulting in a Shapton town which occurred at the time. Further development of the town was planned to include a country's club, polo and also cricket fields areas and also ornaments, fountains and different things that happened during that period. However, then Prime Minister Kwame Nkrumah developed his own plan that focused more on pride and also nationalism. Today, the city is the business and transportation hub in Ghana. It is home to more people and tourist attractions including the Academy of Arts and Science and also the National Theatre. The city also boosts a multi-story hotel, restaurants and also other buildings that were built during the 1990s. The city's economy is relevant, it's reliant upon the finance and also commercial sectors and also industries. It processes food, textile and a number of other things that the city offers. Looking at the population, across population growth, just to point out, has been a population growth through the years, primarily looking at because of immigration. However, the decentralization is expected to reduce migration rates, which could also have an impact on the future population growth. Still, the city has a high number of young residents and the trend is not expected to go anytime soon. Given the city's role within Ghana, it can only be assumed that Accra will continue to grow well into the future and to make Ghana in this particular area to be known around the world. Despite that, Ghana does have different cities, which also includes places like Kumasi, and you also have a Sekondi, a Takoradi, and you have Temale as well. It is a beautiful country for those of you who plan to visit. Accra is a major business hub. It does have lots of industries and also uh, different businesses from around the world that have their own headquarters there. It is a transition point. They do have an international airport which is called the Kotoka International Airport that also have flights coming from all over the world and across the African continent. It's an interesting city. The population in Accra uh, has been that of uh, young working professionals. You do have experts living in Accra also. There are more international hotels in Accra as also very attractive things to do while you visit this amazing African city. If you also plan to enjoy your time there, scheduling your travel and a visit to Accra by looking at one of the travel agencies. Of course, you can also do your travel to Accra by your own self. There are lots of international airlines that fly directly to Accra, coming from Europe, from the United States, having a transition within Europe, and also there are different airlines that flew in from the Middle East, and also from Asia, and different African countries. If you are new here, we want to thank you for watching. We encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Hopefully, we are able to inform you with regards to this amazing African city. If you feel that we were spot on with regards to Accra, we would like to hear from you. If you've been to Accra for a visit or business, we would also like to know what your experiences were and also would like to hear from you in different areas. We want to thank you for watching. We encourage you to watch our other episode on our YouTube channel. We shall be looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. For now, have a good day. Bye-bye.